everyone. This is something a little bit different for me. I've not painted a butterfly before, but I have these lovely Pebeo metallic paints to try. And um, I'm just thinking this would be a really good opportunity because he's quite sort of shiny. And by keeping it simple, I'm hoping that this will work really well. The first thing I'm going to do is where I'm going to put these very highlights on, I'm going to put some white on because I think that will make it show up a little bit more. So just with some white. Right. My thinking is that the simpler this can be, the more chance it stands of working. But he was absolutely gorgeous. Photographed him in Japan, just in a park. Mm, we'll see what to do with that later. It's all experimenting and I just love experimenting. Right, I think the first thing I'm going to go for is the blue. And I'm using a iridescent blue-green. Well, I have done a colour chart before I started because I think that's quite a good idea if you're using colour colours and things that you've not used before. And turn here. Okay. Right, next thing I'm going to do is to get, I think, in some, I'm going to mix almost a black. So with the Prussian blue and the red black, I'm just going to mix that really, really dark. And get some of the darker shapes on. I'm trying not to do the paint too thick. Some lovely veins go through. There is so much on such a tiny little beautiful creature. It's quite dark here. Shape. Okay, so I'm dark behind the wings. Just so. so really, when you're looking at it, there's an awful lot of tones. Now, I think I'll carry on. I just get a small brush and I'm going to carry on with the metallic, um, it's sort of almost a black. It's called blue black, which I think might be perfect for this. It's sort of like a crumpled effect, isn't it, on here? We try and bring some of that through. I don't think that's dry enough at the moment, but we can go back into that in a minute. I don't think there was so much involved in painting a beautiful little butterfly.
We'll go back into that in a little while. It's definitely going to have to stand out a little bit more than we have it here, but I'm sure that can be organised. I'm going to paint that over and then I'm going to paint the veins in later. So, so cute. Well, there's a little bit of blue I can see coming through into those veins there. So let's just cover that up. I'm just going to dip into that blue that we used before. Just sort of blend that in a little bit. I'm going to add a bit of white to that too. Got a sort of stippling, I'm just have to work out how we can do that. Now I'm just going to dip into the white and the metallic black, and we'll just see if this works just by dipping that down. Yep, that is. Wow, oh, that is working really well. So just take the ends of that brush white and the metallic black and we'll just carry on doing this around the edges this is quite fun I think when you try something completely different Quite exciting. Also, that sort of goes around right here, that's sort of the metallic there, but it's very white as we come up, so we can alter that in a minute. Okay. To the other side, so the same colours. Things when you experiment don't always go as you expect, so I'm very, very pleased with this. I'm getting more and more pleased with this lovely little accidental brush that I got. Okay, let's go for the pure white next. So just the white. Oh, 
Mm, it is getting there now a little bit of the black mix that we made from that bit I think there could be some pure white bits in here but not too many so let's, let's get that little brush clean dip into that white again do have a brush like this but half the size so we'll have to see if we can find someone somewhere. No, I'm just going to dip that into the dark and just do a few little bits onto there. So, so far so good. Maybe a little bit of the dark outline, so a tiny, tiny brush, and let's just find some of the dark. It's probably not a good brush to use, that's a better one. I'm using tiny brushes with acrylic, I do mess them up quite quickly. So back into our dark mix, and there's a little bit of an outline going on in places. very pleased with this. I'm just wondering if that bit is a bit too long, his body. I think it needs to come to there. That's easily sorted. Just put some turquoise paint over that in a minute. Let's just carry on with this lovely bit. Oh, I've got an aeroplane landing in my studio. Get it all, don't you, when you're in the countryside? And that's quite dark here, so it's dark in that. And also, I've got that dark on my brush, a few definite sort of veins that come. Alright, I think I need to leave that a little bit and we need to get back that real sparkle there. So let's let it dry and then we go back into it. I think the next thing I'm going to have to do is to get some of the veins in. Then I work about getting that a little bit brighter. So we've got a definite line there. I'm trying to keep them as tiny as I possibly can.
with lovely little legs and antenna. Amazing what you can photograph on a phone, isn't it? I'm just adding a little bit of white to my black. A little bit of shaping to that body around here. I never normally like painting small, but this is quite fun. Now I'm going to add a little bit of white into that antenna just so that it shows up. And the leg. Yeah, that's better. We want to actually see what it is. Now, I think that white has to be a lot whiter. So let's see if we can do that. Are we getting there? What do you think? Those lovely little sparkly bits where I'm just adding white to get those. And I think I'm going to put white and that blue together. Metallic blue and some white and see if we can get this more sparkly and showing up against the colour background that I've chosen to use this time. bit of the white I think that's a bit better now the dark I'm going to the dark to get that vein coming through Oh, that seems okay. Uh, I think a little bit more white with grey just to get that shape. Yeah, that makes his body show up quite a lot more, which is really good. on the end.
I wanted a bit more blue in that, but I wonder if we could add a little bit of the green. I might just give it a little bit more colour. Let's just squeeze out some of that green. Onto my little brush. And there we go, onto him. And follow that vein. And again, so it shows up, I'm going to go for a little bit of Naples yellow into that. Now we could kill it, or it might make it a lot better. Only one way to find out. Oh, that's working. That's actually showing this up a lot more. There's a lot of tapping. Sometimes a little bit of a different colour can make a big, big difference. Okay, I am happy with that now, so I am just going to leave alone and yeah, see what butterflies you can find all over the world. <laughs>